What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jose, aka Mr. Make Life Happen. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day and thank you so much for tuning in. Today, I want to talk about the law of attraction, what it is, and how you can use it in your life. <clears throat> So the law of attraction is the belief that you can attract anything with your subconscious mind. The premise to the law of attraction is the belief that energy attracts like energy, or as I like to put it, life energy attracts like energy. That energy is determined by your emotional state. This is called vibrations or vibes if you emit good vibes you attract good things if you emit bad vibes you attract bad things do you know of someone who is very positive and perhaps you're always drawing great situations there are always around great people how about a negative person they are always in uncertainty. They're always surrounded with bad situations. So where the mind goes, the feet soon will follow. Now you're probably wondering, how can I use this law of attraction? Well, the first step is you have to take full responsibility of where you are right now. That is the first step. In most cases, no one is responsible but yourself. So now think about five things in your life that have happened. Write them down on a piece of paper. Put a line in the middle. On the other side, put five things that were negative that happened in your life. If you look closely at the things that happen, when you emit good energy, you attracted good things. When you emit bad energy, you attract the negative things. So now that you know this, you have to determine what is it that you actually want. Now this could be a promotion. This could be moving into a new home. It could be building a new relationship. Whatever it is, identify it and write it down. Think about it. Make sure you really think about this so it's embedded in your mind. Keep your goals very, very specific. Now, what do we do once we have written our goals down? Now, one of the most important parts and most essential that I feel and I have learned is act as if, acting as if, knowing knowing that your desires are going to come true. That is what Neville Goddard says. Neville Goddard says, feeling is the secret. So you have to feel in your heart and truly desire that goal. That's how you truly manifest things. It is very important to, let, to not let the mind wander on the challenges that may occur throughout the process of you attaining and reaching these goals because those uh, will turn your vibrations to negative and it will actually cause it to work against you. So the outcome that you get is what your body and your mind actually focus on. Writing your desired goals will actually hurt, um, excuse me, will actually help purge out those negative emotions that you think about on a day-to-day -day basis. The subconscious mind does not originate ideas, but it, actually, but it actually accepts those that are felt. The subconscious does not originate ideas, but it actually accepts those that are felt. Remember guys, feeling is the secret. Feeling is the secret. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. That is it for today's video. Stay tuned for Thursday's videos where, I'll be, where I will be talking about scripting and I will show you how to further expand on your list and what, it, what to do exactly with this list.
Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Go out there and use your gifts and make life happen. Peace.